Alright, get your debate hats on because it's time for some more Romance of Three Kingdoms 11. Now we played this game once before, but uh, Shadow wants us to jump back into it for more. They're giving us some hints and tips, especially with regards to not slaughtering every potential general we come across. Uh, so what we're going to do is jump into new game because obviously now we've got a firm grasp of the basics. We're going to play Rise of Heroes mode because this will allow me to play as my hero of the ages. Yes, we can play as Yuan Shao here, and it's pretty much a free-for-all. There's everybody everywhere with no regard to historical birth dates and death times, but at least we start up in Nanpi. Let's go for it. All this stuff, let's not care about it, let's just plow on. So I was given some friendly advice so about this, years ago, or the game will just talk over me, that's fine. The world was in chaos as a group of heroes vied for power. Cao Cao, the anti-hero. Liu Bei, who vowed to restore... Okay, or it will switch out when I try to hit the up volume button. Okay, so we start out as Yuan Shao up in Nanpi. This is, if you missed this before, a turn-based uh, strategy game. Not really my forte whatsoever, but we'll do our best. For one, I really want to conquer Gong Sun Zan and Ji, so that I'm pretty safe up in the north. I guess moving on on uh, Gong Sun Du would be clever as well. Basically, secure the north so that I don't have any immediate threats coming in. Actually, the north looks really safe, except for this narrow passage right here, which leads into Ding Wan. Bah. Okay, so I mean, I got, at least I like to think I got, the basics of this game down properly. Uh, that said, how did it all work again? How about we check out the personnel that we uh, we have how does that even work again? Oh man, we're off to a great start. Okay, city. No, no, it's pretty amazing how fast I managed to forget about all of this. I have a list of officers somewhere here. Well, if I look at all this, I can see which ones I have uh, have to choose from. I think I've got 25, but I've got Wen Chao and Yan Liang, who are both incredible at what they do. I should probably mount up my forces and go and conquer... Uh, Liu Yu, and uh, make my move against Gong Sun Zan. That's, that's what I think I'm going to be doing. Yes, this game is also hex-based, which is another thing I really can't stand. Can't really put my finger on why, though, but hex-based systems just irk me for some reason. It's just so, I don't know, basic? Oh, well, not to worry. Not to worry at all. Uh, I want to get some diplomacy done, though. I should get some goodwill going with Cao Cao. He is, after all, a uh, good friend of Yuan Shao for the longest of times. We should send our greatest political officer over there, Tian Feng. Yeah, take some money and uh, cultivate some goodwill with him. Get to work on that. Our friendship with him is extremely important. Yes, it is. I also want to develop this place. We don't have tons of land to work with here, but we do have some. So, what are we going to do? Uh, these losers. Oh, including myself. Yeah, sure. Do I want food? Do I want gold? Do I want troops? I certainly want troops. It was really hard for me to get a grasp of the scales of what I want in the previous one. I don't think that's going to change here. But gold is king, so how about we erect a marketplace? How about we erect a few of them over here, so we have decent gold coming in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty much out of action points already though, so never mind that. Yeah, don't you mean cow cow according to Dynasty Wars 6 and 5, 4, 3 and 2. They called him the cow man for a long time. Okay, we didn't have a lot of action points to work with, so let's just carry on, because there's not much else for us to do here. Alright, they're working away on that market. I've got 60 to play with. What do I want to do? I mean, I could drill my army so that they get way up there. 
costs a bit of our action points, but I do want to be ready for battle. Then again, might be a better idea to actually go and recruit some. But we can't, because we don't have a barracks. So let's change that. I'm going to want a lot of troops churned out here, so I might get a barracks. And is there something that works well with uh, adjacent to barracks? No, it's just the granary and the mint that works that way. So let's enjoy a barracks right here. Man, I, I want to develop this place really quite well. Our great warriors, what are they particularly good with? I always forget how to check my list of uh, list of officers. Here we go. Yan Liang. What are you so good with? Pikes. No, but he's great with cavalry. And who's the other awesome guy? Well, I mean, Yun Shao, I don't think you're particularly great at it. Hmm. Yeah, well, maybe I should get that stable going. Can't go wrong with some horses. And of course, of course, of course, what else do I want? I mean, the order is uh, is always good to have. So, get some inspections done, everybody. I want order. Alright, good enough. Let's carry on. Jake, placing mints in the center of clusters and, and granaries in the middle of farms are the way to go. Yeah, that's why I placed the market there. It can be market one, two, three, and four. And then place the mint right here to squeeze more out of them. Then again, it would work better here because I'd have all of these to work with. But if I do that with my farm, maybe that's the better way to go. I don't know. I really don't know the best way to get all the numbers. Might be a good idea to search your city next turn if your strategist recommends it. There could be a free officer milling around. Well, we'll do just that. Huh. There's our marketplace. So, how does it go here? Search. Make Gao Ruda? Yeah, if you say so. An officer of Wan Sheng, he looks pretty good at war and decent with cavalry. Always nice. Come work for me. Oh, no, he couldn't possibly. Oh, okay. Well, get your debate hats on because it's that kind of game. <sighs> I'm no great speaker. Let me tell you what you think. Our cards are pretty naff, but it's logic, so let's just lay it on thick and fast. <laughs> Man, we're still in logic round, so we'll lay down even more of it. He renews, and it's a clash of logic, but we're still in logic. I don't want to lose fact three, so let's just dump a fact one and eat. Humble pie? Oh, I can ignore him though. It's going to make him angry, but that's fine. At least I don't, uh, I don't get hurt by that. There we go. That really built up his uh, his rage. Oh, we're still in the logic phase though. And how long do these go on for? I never really picked up on that. Uh, he's got two facts, so I might be able to win just by playing my stronger fact card here. Oh, he had a very good fact one. I'm glad I didn't waste mine there. Alright, now we are in the fact round. It's time to get facts three. Crush him. It's making him a bit mad, but he's going down in the world. Seems a bit loud there. These debates do sure get heated. Uh, still fact time. Let's lay it down on him. He rethinks, but it's... Oh, it is enough. Bringing me down to his level. It's still fact time, but he plays logic. Oh, I think he's about to pop. Because I keep destroying him. Uh, we've got really good time cards. Which is a shame, but he does not have uh, facts of his own. Although he renews and hits me with a... Uh, hits me with a fact. That's no good. I really need 
the uh, the tame tame round to come. At least I've got some fact to throw at him. Crunch. Oh no. Oh, he's really angry though. But two can play at that game. You see, I was saving this for right now. Logic, time, and guile, but it's still fact o'clock. I can play my stronger time card, though. And down he goes. <laughs> it's, it's so painfully stupid, these debate parts. Alright, so he's been successfully uh, recruited by our Cunning and Guile. Having me on your side will be as if Yuan Shao's army has gained a thousand allies, says the roaring angry man. It's okay, we put him in his place. I didn't know how fast Renew renews, so uh, cheers for that canon. Yes, we are the master debater, putting him in his place. Still got 35 AP, I would love to start getting some units rolling out of here. Maybe I should just have this as a massive gold center. As in, have the markets here and here. I can place one little farm, maybe? Barracks, stable. But just churn out tons of money. That might be cool. Might not be. I mean, I, I, that's the thing. I have no idea how the economy uh, scales in this game. I do know that I want my army to go and uh, crush my opponents before too long. We could develop more, which could well be for the better. We only have the one market, and I do like having loads of gold. But we don't have a single smith. But uh, not having rams really makes your sieging that bit worse. I don't know, it's hard to say. Let's just go the gold route. Yeah, everyone likes gold, right? So we're over with Cao Cao, our good friend. As per the orders of Yuan Shao, I have come to strengthen our relations. Have some money. Ah, he seems quite happy about that. Relations are up. Maybe next time we can go along and say, hey, let's, uh, let's make alliance. Let's have a quick look at that. If I say alliance with Cao Cao. Under the current circumstances, this would be virtually impossible. Possible. Well, let's just keep fostering goodwill. Because I really want him to be an ally. He's so incredibly strong. Yeah, you seem to be the best for it, so on you go. It's not like we don't have money to burn. The quotes come up, but they disappear so fast, it's a little disappointing. Got a maximum order here in our city. But I think I want to save up some action points for a wee bit. Once I have a barracks going, I can start recruiting loads of units, and then uh, we go and crush our foes. The barracks is almost done. Because it's G that I want to tear down. They're busy building a barracks, a smith, and a market. Their number of troops number is 24,000, which is almost a little scary. Hmm. I mean, ours are more, but uh, you have the advantage when you're defending in a siege. It's okay, we'll just get loads of uh, units and overwhelm them. Of course, loads of gold also helps, right? Hmm, I do like loads of... Uh... Now, how much food do we actually get each time? Maybe one little farm would be useful, but I don't know. Might be better just to have somewhere else. Oh, hey, what's this? Can I just march and take this? It seems unoccupied. Like, completely unoccupied. 
Well, it might be better than the other guys taking it. Uh, how about... Hmm. You take our finest 5,000? Nah, you're not particularly good at anything. Alright, you guys. Yeah, I mean, just take some spears, take a bunch of men. Don't really need much gold and a little bit of food. Great. And I want you to make your way down to Ping Wan and take it. Tonga. Yes, Tonga. I mean, your drill isn't that good, but whatever. 1.23 ain't out yet. What else is worth our time, though? Should we build up more? I mean, if I could, I'd be recruiting more units since I just sent out 5,000 of them. Well, not developing is pretty bad in my eyes, so let us develop more. We can use the bit to the south to actually uh, make loads of units for troops, and we can use up here just to make tons of money, but I can't seem to make more. No, I can make another market. Wonderful. Well, let the money flow, then. Loads of money. Okay, don't know how bad that is for our time, but I like the idea of having tons of ducats. Things are getting done, we're earning points. I think it's TP, technology points. Yeah, just go and take it eventually, that way I don't have to keep worrying about you. And with this done, the city can now recruit units. Go and get as many as possible, I want a ton of them. Guess I can only do that once, otherwise keep that order high, I suppose. Good. Newster says, sadly, every Romance of the Three Kingdom game after this one sucks. So this is the only Romance of the Three Kingdoms game I've played. I'm wondering what the others are like. And why, for example, the more recent ones, in your words, suck. Give my best to Yuan Sha, man. Cao Cao really likes the dosh that we keep throwing at him. Rightfully so, of course. So, the way I see it, we need to... Keep getting more units as fast as we can. And we can use our massive amount of generals to go out and take ye nice and quickly. You're making your way down here as well you should. Wait, why did he not automatically move? I understand nothing. So we'll have tons of money coming in here. I don't know the best use for money yet. How about... Tsao there's little chance. Little is still a chance. What if we bathe him in gold? Yeah, probably still not good enough. Let's keep fostering that goodwill with him. Get on it, Chang Feng. Costs a lot of action points, though. That's good, though. I mean, diplomacy should be an investment. I kind of feel bad for not having a farm going. Is that food going up or down? How much do I even make? The harvest seems enormous. Yeah. They made them into overpriced, untranslated mobile games. That's pretty harsh, but you wouldn't lie to me, I'm sure. sure. Get on it. Okay, all the development seems to be going pretty fine. Probably worth my time uh, making some war horses or something. Yeah, get me some horses. See, I don't have any. That's a big problem. Make as many as you can. Yeah, I can only do that the once.
Tell Tsao Tsao to cool it. Surely he'll reconsider everything in life and join you. I can only hope. Okay, so with all these markets, we're surely drowning in the gold, and when we have G, everything will get even better. Take this. Yes. Extra city, a lot more we, uh, a lot more stuff that we can do here. However, it probably needs a lot more personnel. Because I can summon a bunch of them that are over in the capital for here. One she, I mean, the sun can do it. I mean, Yuan Shao is not moving there, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seems pretty good. I mean, that's, that's plenty to do. Every well, nine is a good number, but I already have one person there, so eight will do. So if you guys all get there... And they probably aren't there immediately, so I don't have... Yeah, I got no officers to do anything with. Also, I have no gold. Which, uh, I probably should have sent them there with some gold, all things considered. Because, I mean, how do I even build anything? Ah, that's a problem for future Jake. Uh, okay, the troop numbers look good. They haven't started recruiting any, but I really need to outfit myself with some more. Oh well, next turn. Lord Yuan Shao, a servant of Emperor Shan, has come to confer a title. I have no idea what that means. Hopefully I can debate him down. Yuan Shao, I hereby confer upon you the title of Lieutenant Governor. Okay, thanks, I guess. I guess. DJ Robbie Rob comes in just to say, love your stream, Jake. Oh, thanks. You know when you have someone that's not a real regular because they don't rip the piss out of me constantly. Man, yesterday was, uh... Yesterday was testing. Ah, it's Chan Feng. Yes, I've made uh, my way over to Cao Cao just to bathe him in even more gold. Things improve even more. Next turn, we'll try another stab at an alliance, but I don't think it'll go so well. Oh, I don't have enough gold? Wow, where did all our gold go? Guess I shouldn't have just been bathing uh, Cao Cao in it. Uh, maybe that's where all the gold went? Let me try and think about this for a moment. Or am I paying a lot of money for food? No, we got food. <laughs> then there's Lyric, uh... There's Coach B, Lyribolical, saying, Your stream is terrible, but I keep watching. That's good enough, then. Hmm. If you grab the port by Ping Wan, you will get gold. Ports make money. I mean, I don't have this by, uh, by proxy. Well, then... Just go and take it. Good enough. Of course, they can't march now, and Ping Wan is completely undefended. I'm going to need to change that before too long. And I guess I need you to make some money and stuff as well. Yeah, because you don't really do much for me. Nah. Now, what do I need this place doing? Churning out troops and equipment, I suppose. That's what I'll have you do. So, like, a whole bunch of barracks down here and a whole bunch of smithies and stables over there. Sounds amazing. Then again, with no farm for food. Well, I don't know. We can get food from up in Yi. That sounds reasonable. Completely reasonable. Still, though, what am I doing? I still want a decent army to go out and crush Yi with. Ah, the inspections are costing money, and recruiting has been costing me money as well. It's all making sense. So maybe instead I should be inspecting the city to keep that order sky high. 
since that allows you to get more money out of them. And of course we also need to outfit ourselves with more horses. Right, that's part of it. It costs a ton of dosh. But we still need horses, so let the money be spent. You'll gain ranks from the Emperor as you conquer more cities. Interesting. Also, I swear I heard somebody move out. Yeah, it's Gong Sung Yue. He doesn't, as far as I can tell, have a uh, port to come and seize my everything. And if he does move in close, then I'll just have to uh, jump out and fight him. Yeah, with my pathetic swords. All right, all of you get, wait. His food will drop to zero. Oh, the, the place's food will drop to zero. I mean, does a porch really need food? Leave it with a tiny amount and get yourself back there. And this is somewhere that we really need to develop. With all the no, uh, no gold we have. Hmm. Is there a way to send gold from one place to another? Or do people just have to move with their gold? Not that it's too hard just to send down a uh, cavalry force with loads of money for you. But you should do something for me. I'm just not sure what the best way to build places up is at all. Leave 2,000 men in the port, someone will attack it eventually. I mean, how? Do they come by boat? Not that I've figured out uh, naval stuff at all in this game. Well, what does it matter for now? We have plenty of troops, but we'll probably need plenty more to take care of. Ye. Not to mention when it comes to the... Uh, the equipment that we have. We don't have a whole lot. Could sell off my food for gold, that's interesting. Or am I buying uh, food? Who even knows? Don't care. Oh well, not much to do anything with, so we'll carry on. Yes, they come by boat. Alright. So if we get some spears... I don't know, maybe it's better that... Uh, it's not Wen Chao there, but somebody else is a bit rubbish. You're not too shabby. Oh, this is not going to be the fun slider. <sighs> oh! Huh, that's handy. Okay, take those men and hold on to this place. At least you can try and hold on to it or pretend that you do. But how to develop this place? If you're low on gold, you can assign your officers to search your cities. If there are no free officers, they will often find gold. I like finding gold. <laughs> this gold was just lying around. We totally didn't rob peasants for it. Alright, Ping Wan. What do I want you to do? I know I want this stuff, but that won't... Uh, that won't immediately make me filthy rich. Loads of markets would, so maybe that's what I should be... Why can't I develop here? Okay, utter lack of gold seems to be the problem. I'd think with all these markets would be drowning in gold, but I guess all these people are uh, using up that gold. Makes sense. People demand money. Perhaps I shouldn't have recruited them so hastily. Do 
Li Fu. You seem pretty damn good at politics. And you're intelligent. Oh, you failure. Oh well, we can drill the units that we have. Might as well uh, use up that AP one way or another. I can't quickly see what my costs versus my income is here, and that's bothering me. Alright, you can be developed with what little gold we have, but I just don't know what. Maybe get you like a single market and some stuff down here, just to get that money rolling in. Good enough. Gong Sun knows I'm coming for him and he's building up. Would have thought that mint would be done by now to get me. That one mint will be as good as two marketplaces. Would be as good as three if it was here and surrounded by them. Should have thought to build that stuff up first. But I didn't. See, the gold looks good now. That's promising. Hmm. I'm glad to see inspections going well. And people have been saying that I should be rewarding my officers. I mean... Ah. Everybody's doing fine. Why would they need money? I really want to march out and conquer ye. But with what army? With what units? The city info shows monthly net gold. It's called revenue. Okay, so that is income minus expenses. I mean, that's pretty good. If there are any crooked officials, I will... Okay, it just disappears so fast there. Hmm. Well, let's do some more searching then. Chao Shu. Eh, not too bad at war. Good with cavalry. And you failed me once again. Why am I surrounded by failures? Damn, Gongsung is really preparing for war. I want to destroy Yi. That land could be better put to use by me. But although I have all these troops, I have pikes, bows, horses, the rest would have to be given swords, which are pretty ineffective. Hmm. Why don't I do it anyway? So we outfit ourselves with a few more, uh, a few more horses, despite it being pretty expensive. Our mint is very nearly done. Three hit points away from it. Oh, I kind of want to farm down here just so I have some food coming in. Good enough. Keep this place looking spick and spam. Get that drill sky high. Was it drill or will? Eh, whatever it is. Good enough. That should massively increase the income we have coming in here. Look at that revenue, 1150. 
So does that mean we should march out? Probably not, but we'll try it anyway, even though we have no rams. So if we get cavalry, Yan Liang is the man with the plan. We've got loads of food, so he'll be able to... Uh... Well, he'll do great, is what I'm saying. And who else is getting out there? Gauran and Guo Tu out with the pikes. <laughs> we'll have Yuan Shao himself out there with the uh, with the bows. Don't I have anybody else that's good with uh, good at war? Well, he is good with bows, so... Ah, hell, let's just... Just get our Sovereign out there. I don't know what the what good it is having deputies. But we'll have one out there, why not? There we go. Seems dangerous, so we'll do it. And there's very little... Or there are very few officers left here, I think, to do much. But that's okay. Barely have any gold either. I mean, this could completely doom us, I don't know, but I just want to crush and conquer a city. It's probably the right thing to do. Maybe I shouldn't have sent Wen Chao down there, I just wanted it well defended. Yeah, I would like more gold though. Yeah, more gold is good gold. Alright. Oh yes, guy, he is just... Wrapped. Yeah, these guys will know what hit them. Fifteen thousand, twenty-one thousand. So I mean, they outnumber us. But we have Yan Liang on our team. How can we possibly lose? <laughs> How can we lose when we spend all of our money? Alright, let's have a look around and see what we find here. Zhu Ling! You look pretty so-so. He was consistently despised by Cao Cao. Come to me. Oh, well, I failed yet again. I don't know why people just don't like me. I will need a smithy here. I'll start chugging things out. Oh, what's this? Sending your pathetic armies out to meet me, are you? I mean, I'm cool with that. But uh, let's have our troops actually... ...stick somewhat near each other. And everybody should be defending the Sovereign, of course. Good. Nothing much going on at Nampi. The thing is, when people are busy constructing, they are... Uh, well, they're being used up. I can't have them do other things, like inspect. 
out here. Come on, go and find me a big bag of gold. Wait, what? There isn't anybody who can carry these orders out? No. no. The <laughs> Angry man here. He could carry out some orders. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a workshop here as well, so I can finally build some other stuff. It takes a long time, I know, but... But nothing. Death Shed is asking how much longer till the next episode of Everybody's Favorite Comedy starts. I don't know about everybody's. Lucky constantly tells me how bad it is. Okay, these guys are in... Ah, uh, oh, man, I do not like that move. What? Okay, so Yan Liang, our incredibly good fighter, has just decided to hightail it. And it's really reminding me about the part in tactics that I hated. So can I, uh, can I kill you yet? There aren't many of you. You are cavalry. But, uh... Wait, I forgot. Is it spears or pikes that are good against them? I don't think it's pikes. Spears are good against cavalry. Pikes are weak against cavalry. So his cavalry is a bit dangerous to me. Uh, you guys are all bows, pikes, bows, bows and pikes. But you know our swords will cut him right down. Uh, man, I never did get to gra get to grips with this. Can you move and fire at the same time? I uh, just litter him with arrows. <laughs> That's what I thought. I mean, you could just attack them. You might even annihilate them. Or we'll take almost more than them. Rake. Ah, uh, we don't need to use up our drill here. I know we're weak against them, but we outnumber them almost 10 to 1, so... So that's pretty good. And then Yan Liang's just there looking very drunk. A damn shame. Always send a smart officer with a stupid officer, or they'll get confused by their enemy. You tell me Yan Liang is stupid? I mean, he might be. Can we have a look at him? Uh... How is this even ordered? Squinting really hard here. Really, really, there he is. Yeah, but that doesn't tell me about him. I want to know more about him. There we go. Wow, he's not very intelligent and his politics ability is pathetic, but what an avatar. Okay, but wait, didn't he have some clever people with him? Tell me more. Chan Feng could not be more intelligent. I think he eats other scholars. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Yan Liang is too dumb and away he goes. Come to think of it, why are we fighting here, you know? Alright, so they shot us, we took a bit of damage. Oh my, that's quite the army. They got, uh... Troop strength at Puyang is considerable, we can't let our guard down. Well, I know someone that died. ran all the way home. Yeah. Where's Yan Liang? Squinting real hard again. I 
I wonder if he, his turn is already used up. It might be too important to get him back in there. Also, these people appear to be on fire, which probably isn't very good. But those are probably terrible at... Uh... Yeah, just annihilate them. Wait, what the heck did I do there? You've got some tactics, right? Incinerate them. That, that did not appear to do what I suspected it would do, but... Well, what do I know? Uh, their numbers are a little terrifying, though, especially when we don't have our cavalry with us. Hmm. Oh well, that seems less than ideal. Let's keep everything good around here, though. No need for that. I feel I'm getting annihilated by superior tactics. <laughs> In fact, my army is on fire right now. That's alright though, because this is where Yan Liang marches out as fast as he can to undo that stupid thing he did before. It's going to be a couple of turns before he gets there though. Perhaps we should do a bit of a strategic retreat. Seems like a clever thing to do. Uh, what's his movement uh, distance here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Protect the sovereign now. Keep making me tons of money. It'd be really funny if I was building the wrong thing here, like a granary surrounded by uh, markets. I'm sure others have done that before. That shh sound you heard when Yuan Shao attacked meant the tactic failed. It has a chance to do so, but honestly, you just got unlucky. Yeah, that's okay, I'm well overdue some bad luck. This place seems to just tick away on its own, which is fine, I suppose, but maybe it should have a few more units? I don't know, it's, it's hard to have an idea of exactly what kind of numbers you want to wear. And then again, our own number of units just got a bit ravaged there. The only thing we're able to make more of are horses, and that's expensive, but needs must. Oh wow, they decided to shoot uh, Yuan Shao and he didn't shoot back. Alright Yan Liang, the time has come. They got pikes there which are weak to cavalry, so get in there. And what do we have here? Onslaught causes great damage and pushes them back. May result in a duel. What else do you know? Oh, shoot, don't surround. Breach. Okay, you push through someone, and then there's just charge. Punch into them, and ooh, drive them back two squares. That all sounds really cool, but why don't you just attack them? What a great guy. 
Anyway, Galkan is getting slaughtered here in the fire. Perhaps he should move away a bit. You know, he's almost dead and all that. Or he could misinform them. Or even... Yeah. No, no, we we do not get so lucky. Okay, perhaps we should. Uh... Yeah, we'll return the favor. All right, Galan, you made a good step back, but now destroy them. So Yan Liang on our side, there's nothing we can't do in amongst the burning landscape around us. But you know, while all that's going on, I could spend more money on more horses. I could actually march out more of my horses. We still have Han Juzi. He's not too bad with cavalry. His everything doesn't seem too bad. And that might be for the better, since we're in a bit of a pickle there. Nan P will have no food. Oh, well, that is a bit of a pickle. Didn't I not put a farm here? That's probably part of the problem. Yeah, yeah, that and everybody taking all the food away with them. Well, I think we can come out of this on top. Just, you know, severely crippled. At least we can be rich if we just keep building marketplaces everywhere. These guys were kind enough to build more marketplaces and no farm. Oh, no, there we go. Farm, farm, and more farm. This is going to be our breadbasket. You know, once it's all ours. Got a farm, market, smith, workshop. And everything looks pretty good here. Even the order's really high. I don't know what to do with all my people. How about we just have a look around? Ah, Hui Yan. He's big into his politics. Imprisoned for arguing against Cao Cao's enthronement, but was beaten to death in jail. <laughs> Let me spare you from that. Oh no, he'd rather get beaten to death. Well, we'll see about that. Not much of a debater, I got no choice, except... Oh, Wan Shi as well. He was a pretty rubbish guy. Uh, we have logic from the start, but we only have one bit of logic. Our foe has two. Well, let's try our luck. It's just a clash. I should renew my thoughts. Since he's a lot uh, smarter than us, he gets four choices. We do not, but our luck has paid off. We got Logic 3. He does n also have Logic 3. Oh, damn. That's a shame. That's why his Logic pile drives us. And now he renews his thoughts to get even more Logic. Oh, this is bad. And I am logically getting destroyed here. And we're still in the logic phase. When does the logic phase end? When do each phase end? Maybe this will tell me. Hmm. No, nope, no idea. But all I got are facts, and he's got a load of logic. Well, I can deal with that. Not very soundly, though. Okay, fact in the logic phase. We'll see about that. Logic phase comes first. Jeez, oh, when will this end? Uh, can I settle things with you? 
The phase changes when a new topic wins over the current one. Ooh. Interesting. Well, let's make him less angry. That's a shame, because that means it's probably... Oh, okay. I'll just unleash my rage. <laughs> if I just yell at him enough. <laughs> so damn stupid. Okay. He's got a good time card. We might have better. What a clash. He's trying to throw facts at me. But I got the time. <laughs> Get down here. Uh, okay. He has nothing but logic. Which means he cannot beat logic three. So eat it. And now it's logic time. Which is pretty bad because as we just learnt he has tons of logic. Oh, he's getting real mad. That's bad. Oh, no. Alright, maybe we can outfact him. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's just so mad. We need a good uh, logic here or we are screwed. Oh no. The pain is too much. Oh. I have no excuse. I'm afraid I wasn't able to convince him. Yeah, you tried though. You gave me a, you gave me some good viewing there. Okay, so with all that going on, we have a Hellfire and Brimstone battle. Hope you get bummed to death in jail. So we just told our units to fire on our other units. Pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> the enemy has been spotted. It looks like they're aiming for Nan P. Uh, that's our land. That's Gong Sun Zan with a bollock ton of cavalry coming along to make my day rather unpleasant. Well, hopefully, they carve their way through these guys first. Alright, Yan Liang, this is what you're good at. Bring him down. I don't actually know what Annihilate does. It's probably not important though. On the plus side, bows can't. Oh, they do uh, counterattack against pikes? Oh, hot damn. But bows don't counterattack to bows. I, I'm not sure. Gao Lan is busy running away. And then nothing going on down here. I thought I sent out more of my units from here. I guess not. Alright, so I'll be the first to say this looks pretty bad. Nobody's available to do anything here. Unfortunately, it doesn't let me move them. Oh, it does let me move, move the map when this is going on. I just have to do it with my uh, with my mouse. Jeez, I don't remember being this bad at uh, the console tactics games. But hey, my plan to form a wall of my enemies seems to be working pretty well. Gong Sons will have to carve their way through these guys as well if they really want us. 
Alright, not much left of Yuan Shao's units here, but those pikes are almost gone. There's a lot of pikes there, and they probably don't want to sit in that fire. So we'll take care of the uh, the bows. <laughs> Those bows are a pain as well, though. Wasn't one of these attack everyone around us, though? Causes great damage to an enemy. Okay, it's just one enemy. None of these were doing that. I'd like to push one of you. Hold on, if I push you into you, what happens? So we push into them, they move back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it just killed them. Okay. And we found ourselves Furen. He looks a bit rubbish. Let's just uh, throw him into the oubliette, see what happens. Where there's life, there's hope. Yeah. Alright, Gaolan, stop disappointing me, even if it is your specialty. Nah, they're all too busy over there. Mmm, good lord, that's a lot of cavalry. I'm not sure the great Yan Liang can do much against that. But Operation Human Shield has, of course, worked. All according to plan. Catch me if you can through the uh, burning landscape. Yeah, this looks good. Alright, we've got all that sweet gold with us now. And uh, our enemies are now fighting amongst themselves. This is exactly as I had planned, and don't let anyone tell you other. Whoa, okay. Are those horseback archers? Hey. Yeah, it's against the rules of uh, rules of war. Well, don't matter. Yan Liang, make your way back. Gao Lan, you too. We'll just leave Yuan Shao out in the open to get annihilated. Yeah, that's what happens. That appears to also be what happens. All right, an incredibly successful campaign, Yuan Shao, as expected of the nobility, none can compare. Still, we have this huge amount of uh, cavalry breathing down our neck, which ain't great. However, we have... We have... what the heck do we have? Well, we got a bunch of spears and we got Wen Shao, who's an awesome general with cavalry, so of course we give him the spears. Ay, ay, ay. Hmm. Well, I do still have a lot of horses. My unit numbers aren't terrible. Just wish I had a bit more spears, but we don't have the ability to make those. Oh well, horse to horse combat. That's what it all boiled down to. Couldn't hurt to grab a few more people. Now let's just have a poke around, shall we? 
Zhangnan, A with cavalry, decent war. Uh, I don't think so. In our time of need, you will be joining us. Starting off with facts for some reason. But now, now we get to change the tone here because we get logical. Hmm. Alright, if you want to stick to facts, that's fine by me. Your memory's all fuzzy anyway, old man. Barcode says, this looks spiffy, there are no hexes on the map. Are you blind? The map is nothing but hexes. And it's pretty bad if I'm asking you if you're blind. <laughs> Keep those facts flowing. We're on our way for flawless victory here. Also, we need him to not be so angry, so calm down. Oh, that's pretty effective. Uh, so he wants to use time. Fortunately, we can flip the whole thing to logic, because our logic is strong. And now he's got to eat humble pie. Oh. Where'd he pull that one from? He doesn't have logic, but he could renew. And I don't want to switch it to time, because he has nothing but time. We'll have to renew. Alright, we'll manage to pull a logic out of nowhere. He's going to do the same. <laughs> what good is time if you don't have money? Now, time for the coup de grace. It's so stupid, but it's... It's quite stupid, right? Yes. I have no idea what good he'll be for me, but welcome. Now go out there and kill yourself for the greater good. No, it's still Yang Liang who wants to get out there. I guess I just don't have access to that bearded fellow right now. But they can uh, they can try to besiege us. They'll take quite a few casualties as we pepper them away, and then we can do an awesome sortie. That's how it's going to go down. I guarantee it. And then in their weakened state, they'll... Oh. Mm, they're really eating away at our units here. Well, as long as they don't hit our horses. I mean, I can go here and... Uh, who do I even want to get here? I could finish him off so that I don't have uh, one of you to use or to worry about, but... Yeah, our soldiers need firmly drilled before we go out there. Alright, nobody likes being involved in Winter Siege. This will surely lower their morale, and they'll be easy pickings. Hmm, back up, eh? He'll be here in three turns. One, two, three. All right, make us proud, Yan Liang. Yeah, I'm not in a good position to punch him onto other units, but... May result in a duel. Hey, we'll win those. That was charge, right? 
crush him. <laughs> then again, now I'm looking a bit surrounded here, which is not so good. But that's exactly why we march out with all of our more cavalry. Not a lot more, but still some. Gowlan is really all we have. Where's that bearded fellow we just got? Yeah, you're pretty good at what you do, right? Why don't you join him? Like, I'm not really understanding what the deputies are there for, but they are there. Uh, oh, of course, zone of control stops me from getting that much further with them. However, if I go here and then I onslaught you, which will push you back... I will fight you and put you in your place. Oh, okay. Uh, have we had this before? Uh-oh. How does this work? How the hell does this work? Please, game. Officers will fight automatically according to the stance set for them. The first to reduce their opponent's energy to zero is the winner. If the fight goes on for 50 blows, it's a tie. Attack, defense, spirit, and fury. The rate of attack... Da, 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 da. What? Hold on. This, this is 110% too much reading for me. The rate of increase of the attack, defend, and spirit attributes will change depending on the stat chosen. If there is another officer in the same unit, it's possible for them to change with the officer fighting. Okay. Spirit gauges rises when the officer is attack or attack. Okay, it's like the jewels. When it reaches 100, we can use a special command. Great. If the officer continues to fight... Na, 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 na. Oh, okay. What the hell do I do? Well, spirit is glowing, so... Oh, that's because it is the one that's... I don't know. Hit him! That, that's... That's, uh... What is going on? your special for God's sake kill him oh wait you have a few mortal blow Maso. hmm kill him <laughs> you better flee freaking coward and I knew it! He's the guy I got through debate as well. Yeah! Wait, what? That's it? He looks awfully not dead. What the actual hell was that? Okay, grab your swords. Grab everybody, Yuan Shao. Wait, if we have no troops back home, then they can take it in a one-shot, which isn't good. But Yuan Shao can... No, what the hell. Don't take all the food, you greedy git. Go there. Strategically... Blunder them? I don't know, they're probably pretty smart. Just him. His intelligence is pretty good, though. I was hoping I could push him into him, but this is looking okay. Cool. 
idea. It's winter, you're fighting me on home ground, you're getting peppered to death. I'm sorry to say, you guys are... Oh. Zhang Liang seems to want to take me from behind. However, it's not looking good for you. Wait, what do I want here? Was it Onslaught to push them back? Yes, it is. Time to die. Wait, that didn't push them back. Been diddled again. Okay, how about Breach then? Oh, that, that pushes me through. Does that even work? Onslaught pushes them back. How about another jewel, my friend? <laughs> Aww. Okay, they're still focusing on the siege, whilst we're focusing on the beating them black and blue. Uh-oh. Why does everyone want a piece of the Yuan Shao Pai? I mean, of course, everybody wants to be the nobility. Okay, so uh, it seems that Zhang Liang is sending a staggering almost almost 13,000 units over to Gaoteng, which has practically nobody there. So, I mean, the south is gone, but the Gongsun clan is about to be dead. So, we will have good old Yuan Shao get out there and show us what he's made of. Kill them. Wait, that was not the plan. I hit surround, didn't I? I meant to hit attack. Now Yan Liang has done his thing. Oh well. On slaughter them. <laughs> Looking a bit of a pickle there, Gong Sun. And he still wants to attack the city. Who? I mean, why would I not just want to surround him? We're all gonna kill him. I'm not even sure how he survived that. Okay, it's kind of good that the North are fighting between themselves. Alright, everybody step aside. Yuan Shao stealing the show here. Good night, Gong Sun. We got him as well! Prefect of Bei Ping in Late Han. Studied with Liu Bei under Liu Ji. Commands elite cavalry. Well, welcome aboard. Wait, we can release or execute him? <laughs> good fight, good night. Okay, so Gongshan Zhu is now the leader here, right? This place is in tatters. So many losses to the north. Not that we've been unscathed, our units are almost dead. You can use the transport command to ship the southern city and port of troops, gold and food and send them to north. What? Transport, yes. Okay, so... So I have you guys and all of our everything there. Okay, so everything to max. And then I bring them here. Is that what you mean? That's probably what you mean. 
Oh, you guys are going to die anyway, so... Might as well also have you guys hightail it. Just loot it and leave it. Alright, so that, that makes a level of sense. We should drill ourselves and inspect ourselves because we let things get a bit sloppy around here. Yes, I'm sure that's how the fight looked. Joke's on them, they come in and they find nothing. Then again, it feels bad to have built all that stuff up and somebody else gets to take it, but... Oh, we lost a lot of things there. You guys are on your way back anyway, so it's fine. I hope they keep doing... It says it's on auto-auto, so I'm sure they'll make their way back. This city could do with more money, obviously. Kinda, where's that alliance with uh, Cao Cao that we were meant to have ages ago? Virtually impossible, he says. Well, it's time for some goodwill with Cao Cao. Get on it. Okay, good. The auto stuff is working. It's just that it doesn't do it until the end of the uh, end of the turn. I would, I'd love to go up there, just smash all the people that survive, and then take over. But you saw what happened to Gong Sun when he tried to take us over. It didn't look so good for him. So what are we meant to do? Well, more horses is usually the right idea. But I feel like I would probably benefit from being able to make anything else. So perhaps we should build ourselves up a, a wee smithy. You just say my time has come. I like that bearded guy. I like him a lot. Defensive structures like towers are very helpful. So who can do that? Archer turret? Embankment? Yeah, go build something then. Might be good. I don't know if they um, if they cost money or anything, but anything to protect good old Nan P sounds good, right? Ah. Welcome. <laughs> Take some more money, Cao Cao. Maybe someday you will consider joining me. Jeez, it's all going on up there. I could send in uh, Yan Liang. He would slaughter everyone. Thanks for all the goodies. Kind of think of it, we have three real bottlenecks coming in here. Could I build walls? Is that something that can happen? I know there are walls in the game. Where are they? Yeah, like this. I never quite figured out how they worked. Tried using them before, but... Uh, earthquake in China. Uh, never really did figure it out, because you just march right through them. Maybe you need to staff them or something. I do not know. Wow, what a route. This game is really interesting. I just wish I was a bit not arse at it. But it is a turn-based strategy, and what is more a tactics game, which is... <laughs> for me. So, what can you do?
seems to have been a change in the way South Sal looks at us. That's promising. Okay, so much war going on up there. I really want to send out our everything and slaughter, uh, well, everyone, really. But we just don't have the troops. We should recruit some. We should really outfit ourselves with more horses. We certainly have the money for it. So if this game was RTS, you'd excel. No, RTS would be even worse. And we've seen me play uh, RTS. Man, Cao Cao, what is with you? This guy's politics blows, but we don't really have anyone else that's that great at it. Couple of good uh, cavalry units would torch this place. <laughs> how about we just send out angry man and see how he does and then again I did just use up most of my guys didn't I well, let's have a turn going and uh, see about that okay whilst I have clearly done um Less than perfectly, slightly. I'm warming up towards this. As long as I accept the fact that I am just utter arse in this game, that is not about to change that. But uh, I'm warming to it. Probably because I can be Yuan Shao, which is, you know, he's my spirit animal. Did, was I building stuff here? Well, maybe. Military, let's march out. Yan Liang, go to it. It's not a lot of food, but we're not rolling in food. Those don't look like horses. Okay, they are. More horses, though. Archer General? Why? Yeah, why? Didn't I find? Didn't I have another guy that was really good with uh, horses who's better for this? Where's that guy with the awesome beard? You there. Your leadership and your war is nowhere near as good. But you should be in charge. And then your deputy can be um, smug guy and angry man. Wait, what? I'm disappointed. Hopefully there's a coup within these guys. Whatever the case, take all the uh, all the horses you can get. The game probably knows better than me. Probably knows better than me. These guys are just lambs to the slaughter. Do you fear this might end up like Golden Horde versus Sweden back in the day? Oh man, there's a blast from the past. What a great time it was too. Alright, we have practically nobody here. We should be recruiting more units. Oh, Yuan Shao's fame really helps. I wonder if we can drill them while we're at it. Because the drill here could be better. 91 out of 100. Doesn't matter though. Let's go and mop up. We already slaughtered one of their leaders. Oh, man. Saving us the effort, eh? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Except, you know, to the south I'm getting horribly invaded by... Who was it? Zhang Liang? Doesn't matter. Is there actually a more horses? Uh... Oh, it's just the Golden Horde episode there. 
The strength of troops at Pu Yang could be a threat to us. We must be careful. Is this Pu Yang? No, wait, what? I don't even know. I don't even care. Sure. Coup de gras! I am disappointed. This is why the angry shouting man needed to be in charge. Let's have a look around while we're at it. Shibao! Hey, it's a decent all-rounder. No locusts or plagues in the city. How is that a skill? Uh, this officer served both Wei and Jin and led an ambush against Zhuge. Da Anybody that fights someone called Zhuge is a man I want to know. Come with me. Uh, I said come with me. I think I'll try persuading you with my words. I won't give up easily. All right, it's logic o'clock. He's got good logic, so he'll probably beat me, but... Hmm. Could just bellow at him. <laughs> so stupid. All right, so he got some good early logic draws. Can't really berate him for that, but I can just yell at him. Freaking stupid. Uh, let's just confuse him. A flying bird's shadow does not move, you fool. So stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Alright, uh, fact o'clock. Bow before me. Ooh. Right, we can do that again. And again. This is making everybody really angry. I think you need to calm down. Now he'll be calm, and I am livid. And it is time to put him in his. It's too late for regrets. So, how do we use our anger anyway? You become furious, tell me more. Effect of being furious in time. Throw all cards at the opponent. Oh, wow. He's gonna die. Wait, that, that didn't throw everything at him. Oh, well. Still time o'clock, though. He's feeling the burn here, but it's time for him to unleash his rage. I could ignore him, but that'll just make him even angrier. He has time. I need to renew my thoughts. That's what we need. Oh. Well played. I still have time, it might not be enough. Yeah, I should renew for something better. Cool it! Uh oh. Oh, I, because I had a settle, I was able to bring him down? Sweet. Just in time to obliterate him. Well, two can play at that game. <laughs> yeah, we could have some mercy if we were weak. <laughs> oh. 
He's been weakened accordingly. He was always weak. Okay, I'm I'm satisfied with that. Is there anything else we need to do, do around here? Could always do with more horses. So if I have multiple stables, will I recruit more horses? That's what I'd like to know. What I would also like is even more money. Majesty Zhang Nan has betrayed us. Who was Nan Brad? Didn't I beat him in a... I'm pretty sure I slaughtered him earlier. Great, everybody's killing each other out there. This is just what I need. What I should do is... Uh, onslaught them to push them back, right? Yeah, and then we'll be able to break on through to the other side. They can't run and they sure can't hide. Wait, I can't get there? Ah, zone of control. Maybe I should have breached through, then you guys could have moved in and crushed them. Well, it matters not. Just uh, sit back and look awesome, Yan Liang, because that's what you are. love watching this show. Who was that? And why should I care? Okay, I probably do need to break on through to the other side here, or else Yan Liang can't be brought into play. But you'll destroy them. Yeah, what the hell, do it. Oh, reach through them, actually. Even better. They could never run, and they could certainly never hide. <laughs> Not looking so good now, are we, G? 8,000 units there. 1,500 in play. I don't even need reinforcements. You're going down. And Gong Sun couldn't help but notice, you know, ever since I slaughtered Daddy... The homestead isn't looking quite as well prepared as it was before. Great. Well, have another poke around, see what you can find. Oh, you're you're good. Yeah. So are we still making good off of Ping Wan? It's still making stuff, right? It's got gold and food stored. For some reason, Zhang Zhao just does not want to take it, even though it's ripe for the picking. I think, uh, although I do recall being told by Shadow that the AI is a bit laughable in this game. I mean, I'm garbage at this game, clearly, but... Let that not excuse the AI. It's good to be drowning in money, means we can just keep recruiting uh, loads of everything. And outfitting ourselves with the most of horses. Yes! Fight each other! Please. Oh, and also bring me closer to your, uh, your homestead. Okay, unit is advancing on Ping Wan, apparently. Hopefully. Uh, this will bring Zhang Jiao into conflict with them. It's a tiny force, though. Might even be worth my time just uh, recruiting units to hold off anything there. Well, hold strong, everybody. Right, we can annihilate these guys without a problem. Yang Liang should take on Shan Jing, since they have the will. Maybe that's not quite right. They're spears, which means they're better against uh, cavalry, so I do think I want Yan Liang there. You, however, can annihilate Zhang Te. Ooh. Alright, break on through. <laughs> you 
Into the oubliette you go. Well, hold on. Shang Jing. Defeated by Cao Cao's troops, who were collaborating with Yuan Shao. Sorry, but history says you must die. <laughs> Man, it's good to be the best. Zhang Te, there is nowhere to run. Man, I can't believe people thought I was doomed when Gong Sun came and laid siege to us. Gong Sun is dead. And his cities will soon be mine. And they're also relatively safe. I mean, how do you even invade them? Through this one bit here? Yes, yes, there are these losers back here in uh, Changping and holy s Wait, Gong Sung Wan is out there? Gong Sung Wan is laying siege to... I don't think I've grasped the situation here. Gong Sung Shu? Gong Sung Khan? Gong Sung Du? God damn it. Greater Japan is confusing. Let's have another poke around. Try and find a bag of gold or something. Oh, there's no one that can. Ah well. See Yi's doing well, which is good. And they just committed suicide. Okay, the enemy has been spotted. It's Gong Song Shu going to Nan Pi. I mean, I'm only too happy for him to go to Nan Pi because I want G. We still have plenty of food. So let's head on over. Uh, our numbers are a bit dwindled, though. Yeah, maybe some backup wouldn't be a bad idea. Yuan Shao himself can go out there and give them what's for. Then again, those are bows marching on Nan Pi. Might be better to hold down Nan Pi for now. G will die just with our cavalry alone, I'm sure. Our military's a bit crap though, so we gotta drill it hard. And I need more horses. It's nice having all this money though. I used to not like the fact that money was uh, dependent on each individual place, but now I'm, I'm quite liking it. Still, we've got to recruit more units here, or else we're going to get destroyed. We also need to drill the units we have, because they're a bit rubbish. And the whole city is in uh, turmoil. Let's bring some order to the place. Now, Newster is saying that killing rulers means their employees to, uh, their employees take a loyalty hit, which I'm not taking advantage of. I don't know how you're meant to do that. If you replace a good ruler with a bad ruler, it's good, but then you can't recruit them later. What? No idea. Alright, G. They're actually building up units right now, which is bad news for me. We should also get as many units as we can and drill them as hard as we can because we're going to have to hold out here. Hang on, did the order only go up by one? I think there's a cap on order, but I've long forgotten what it ever was, uh, ever could have been. Let's drill our pathetic units. And of course get more horses. Can't have a sortie without horses. Oh, they did sortie. With arrows. Of course. Well, Gongshun's on his way. He doesn't stand a chance, though. Uh, these guys stand a considerable chance, though. great trouble here. My hope is that Zhang, uh, Zhang Zhao comes and actually fights them for me. But this is 
Pan Feng. I don't know if he's any relation to Pang De, but if he was on his way, I would be crapping myself. Could send some forces to relieve it, but I could also not do that. I'm focused on the north here. My own willpower is being destroyed here, unfortunately. I could probably surround and destroy Chang Zhao. Although I could challenge them to a duel. If they say no, we get some will, so that's good. Oh, we'll have Angry Man do it! Come and fight me, they say no, we get will, they lose will, and then we move in. And we... If I push him into there, who gets hurt? Well, let's find out. Um... Well... I'm sorry to say this, G, but you're looking a bit dead. Yeah, order just doesn't go up much when Zhu Yu is doing it. How far can you zoom in on this game? This is as far as I can zoom in, and I can move around this much. So yeah, the models aren't all that. The train is... I mean, it's got a certain look to it. I'll give it that much. Pang Fei sucks, but Zhang Yue is great. You should abandon Ping Wan. Oh, Ping Wan will prevail. Surely I have somebody who can relieve the uh, the siege here. I mean, what have I been making all these horses for? Gao Lan can get out there with 5,000 of our best, and I have plenty more horses. What are they fighting with, anyway? Horses and more horses. Damn, you're right, Zhang Yue is great. Peng Feng is a heap of dirt, though. All right. We will save our southern city. Who the hell are you? Well, he's not great, but he's going. It's a shame my drill wasn't better. Actually, I should have drilled before we left, but I didn't. I? There still should be plenty to look after the place, so what I will do is recruit even more units and then drill them hard. But everybody down here has got to hold out. So good luck with that. You guys have already made your move, okay. Any chance of turning the grid off? Is such a thing even possible? Piece of crap, don't you, uh, don't you break my stuff. Options, eh? I'm not seeing anything about the, uh... Wait, that is definitely not my resolution, I think. Oh, well, I'm not seeing anything about the grid, sadly. Get spears, Jake. Nope. It's horses and nothing but. So what's the best way to attack... Uh, attack here? Is it better to surround attack or individually attack? I'm going to go with surround. Wow, they lost uh, not a lot there. But we only took one counterattack, so maybe surrounding is for the better. It's a shame we don't have any siege anythings. Gotta relieve our city. Bottom right of the screen, Jake. Unit info. And some other stuff. Ooh. There's something unsettling about the way it looks now. We'll roll, we'll roll with this for a little bit, but I fear it's just going to confuse me. Actually, it's already angering me. Oh well. Isn't there anything I can do to save my poor city? 
like desperately recruiting people and then drilling them hard so they don't give up. Seems like you can hold out in sieges for a long time. Zhang Yue is actually Zhang He. He was one of Cao Cao's best officers. He's a very good general. Try to capture and recruit him. Oh yeah, I know all about him, probably. Uh, for what it's worth, don't I have a bunch of officers in my prison? Where do I even look at my prison? Uh, like a Nan P prisoner? I mean, I, I don't want this guy. Look at him. <laughs> Look how pathetic he looks. Oh well. Yeah, Zhang He was the guy they made extremely. Um... Well, he loves his beauty. But he's a very good fighter. I'm not liking them busting up my stuff. So they're losing like 700 units and I lose about 400. Our will goes down quite a bit though. This is the kind of thing where you probably want more people or better yet some siege equipment for. But I must save our home here. You can get there and fight him. You can also go there and fight him. Pang Feng. Yeah, I just stab him in the arse. Ooh, that's the feel of regret. Get out! Alright, and with that, we can do the greatest of sorted. No, of course, we're not doing that. We have almost no units there anyway. Uh, at this rate, I'm probably just recruiting babies. Flamboyant, that's the word I wanted earlier. So close, it's a shame it's not Liu Bei being wiped out. Baby eating fool. Well, no, no, it's someone's wife that he ate, it's uh, baby touchdowning that he is. Okay, mm we're feeling the burn here. Oh, we're not about to lose this city. We will waste umpteen times its own res- oh my god. Uh, they all fly the same flag as the people currently coming to uh, take my beautiful city. I think this is high time to hightail it. Well thought. I mean, maybe it's worth my time holding out, but I'm not seeing it. Let's not lose my son, shall we? Alright. Leg it. <laughs> They're probably just going to get captured. It's... I can imagine it not being hard to capture those. Well, at least the cavalry can go and save those other guys. As for you folks, bring them down. We're doing less and less damage to take our own casualties though, I think. Maybe. I mean, they're losing as well. It's still going to be like 10 more turns until Yi has fallen. 
This is the problem with sending an arrogantly small force out to deal with it when I should really be sending a lot more. I mean, this loser could probably go and help out a lot. Goodbye. And I miss Ping Wan already. Oh. I don't think they got all the buildings that were there. Speaking of buildings, just by being shot by bows, my... Was that my barracks? You bastard. He knew fine well what he was doing. Five, six, seven hundred dead. We're getting there, but we're also getting peppered ourselves. Maybe Chi Yi should uh, take one of those attacks himself someday. Jake, there's another siege strat. If you send clever individuals, they can start fires, which reduce the number of defenders. That sounds dangerous. Okay. Get out of there, folks. Okay, so now I can't recruit, but I can still outfit and drill. And I want more horses, but I always want more horses. Why is Jake giving up on his cities? I gave up on one of my cities, this one down here, because I had a very few defendants, 3,000, and they summoned a bunch more armies to come over and take it. Three more stacks of 5k or 6k. I was not ready for that. I would like these units to get back and R&R uh, &R for a bit. Gongsun doesn't know what he's doing there, he's just draining his own food and will. Not that we're doing too terrific on the food front out here. Hopefully we take over G and we can rest and recuperate there. Five, six, another 700 dead or so. Yeah, it's still going to take a few turns for it to go, though, which is unfortunate unless we bring in more by the time we get there. I'm saying we've got our hands full. Also, what is this? I really hope these two are fighting, and they must do, because they're both down on units. Whoever wins ends up stronger, but uh, with quite an investment done in. Damn, I do not like not having that uh, barracks to train units with. But hey, that's more outfitting to do. Need those horses, right? I have another poke around. No, nobody around to poke around. Okay. Your capital is a bonus to siege weapon production. I'm just saying, every city has a bonus. Oh, really? Cities themselves have bonuses? Let's have a look. Oh, jeez. Quit breaking my stuff. You just set it on fire as well. Uh, how do you see this bonus? Maybe it's this thing. Maybe... Nan P, here we go. It's perfect. It's my first district. I at least kind of understand it. Specialty! Siege weaponry. Interesting. Alright, Gong Sung, it's been kind of funny what you've been doing for a while, but it's time for you to die. Gao Lan, there's no time for you to rest. Get out there. And it's time for more of our cavalry to... Wow, Shen Pei is going to do it. If you say so. Yeah, they're bows. They are no, no chance against ours here. I'm 
I'm doing less and less damage to these guys, and my own units are getting drained hard. They're winning that siege. Oh well, as long as I can get more horses, all is well. Well, there goes that uh, uh, place of mine. I'm receiving word that a bandit's army is advancing on Nanpi. A bandit camp? Is that because I have kept the order too low here? Oh yeah, order is non-existent here. And who the hell are they? Gaolan. Where'd he come from? Okay, so this is because I have not done my inspections to keep that order high. And yes, things are piling up. Wait, no, what? Wait a minute. Gaolan was on my side. That's a lot of bandits. You've done so much damage to me, White Riders. Put the war in warring states. Damn traitors, they're everywhere. Barely doing any damage here anymore. And I don't have a barrack, so I can't recruit more units. What we have is what we've got. Got to put these guys in their place. But they are cavalry, which means those spears that we've had just piling up for no particular reason might come in handy. <laughs> there we go. And we've got the backup of the archer turret, which is kind of good, I guess. You can do that, but we have spears, so that should have hurt you. Okay, at least the, uh... Wait, what? And all these different Chinese characters. Hell yeah. This is probably because I didn't give Gao Lan that break that I promised him, but that's his own fault. So, what will push them back? Ah, the thrust will. Enjoy. I know I will. Oh, yeah. So it does hurt whoever they're thrust into. Interesting. I know you guys are really tired, but soon you'll have this place and then you can rest up and eat and pillage all you want. Holden McGroin says, hey, I had to leave yesterday. Wow. Did I beat Senator Armstrong? Of course I did. Mr. Nanobots was no match. Maybe going for the place in the south is a liability. Maybe what you should do is take it Lightly, uh, lightly defend it, and then just pull out as soon as you can if a threat comes. I don't know. It's always so much harder to take a place than defend it. So I guess that bandit camp did spawn because I didn't keep my inspections up. So that's it's kind of clever, actually. It's a joke, the amount of damage they do to us, though. <laughs> ignoring each other, just uh, ignoring me and just fighting each other, that's what I like to see. But these archer turrets are no too shabby. I should be able to... what is expel? What is annihilate? 
Okay. I understand. I just don't care. So this is about as messy as the real Warring States period. It's fine though, let's just stop more bandits from arriving. Okay, well, that's not my land, so we don't care. <laughs> Jobs well done. I'm really wondering what good the uh, surround does. Actually, I could check that, couldn't I? This game has not tooltips, but glossary. Causes more damage than a normal attack. Can only be executed. Yeah, okay. Well, if you say it causes more damage, then I'm I'm on board with that. I think these guys have recruited more units, so I really want to get more. Shen Pei should be moving on. Any chance this becomes a regular simulator game, Jake? Hmm. Might not be a bad game to play on uh, on Sundays. It's growing on me, even though I am obviously and admittedly garbage at it. This game is growing on me. All right, Shen really needs to reinforce that other fight. On you go. We have the archer uh, unit backing up Shibya, who will destroy you. Of course. And I really need those inspections to work, because the order is phenomenally bad here. Might be good to, you know, repair our barracks. But we don't have the generals for it, because they're all out slaughtering. Growing on him like a moss or an unpleasant disease. I don't know, I, I don't find... I don't find much unpleasant about this game, other than the fact that it's turn-based, and even the incredibly stupid, uh, right, you guys get back there, the incredibly stupid debate thing isn't, uh, isn't bad, it's just really stupid. Good thing Yuan Shao is great at inspection. I was reading about him, turns out he was a really great guy. Until he just became so complacent with power. The games don't do him justice. Again, I was relying on somebody else's interpretations of the uh, the original texts. Instead of my own legwork, because I don't speak no Chinese. Greenwood, my computer build, is not posted anywhere. And I can never keep it to mind. But I think I got one of those 1070 graphics cards. With an i7. And blah blah blah. I've never cared too much about uh, computer spec wankery. So what's been going on here? Seems that... Oh dear. Gong Sun Du's been a busy boy. I'm glad he's getting the locusts, but, uh... And I'm also glad we're not inheriting a locust-infested place. Next time I'm bringing siege equipment. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have someone really strong to have to deal with up there, which is unfortunate.
Uh, I should really be staying on top of my order in the future. This is cool though. The game, like I said, it's really growing on me. I think uh, we have a doomed effort here, but I want to see it through. I at least want to secure G tonight. Then again, it's going to be FTL very shortly. And I think Captain Nitro is in chat revving up. He wants a chance to get his sword back. Alright, that's the end of Gong Shunju, successor to Gong Sun, who I utterly eradicated in battle. Laughed as I defiled his corpse. But hey, that's war, right? Let's get over here and surround the sucker. Oh wait, you can only surround certain areas? So... Well, I can't get you there. What if I have you there, and you wait, and you go there, and we surround that? Ah, he counts as having done his attack. So, fire works, because G has been captured by a hostile force, that's how it works. And what of the buildings? Oh, we've got a lot, bunch of people here. Come to me. All of you come to me. Wow. <laughs> what a load of bitches. Okay, well, into the oubliette. You all go. And when I eventually figure out how to filter through my prisoners, we'll take out the best and brightest. Nice. Okay, so the land has been raised in a not pleasant way. What's the specialty of this place, anyway? Uh, good at making pikes? Uh, one gold buys a lot of food. Mm -hmm. And those bandits are about to exhaust themselves, which is fine, but maybe I should take care of the bandit camp. Fascinating. Okay, I'm going to call it there. As I said, this is uh, Shadow's choice for Patreon game. And he, uh, he asked us to stick with it, and... Whilst I wasn't impressed the first time around, now I'm really feeling it for this game. And we'll be back with it in the not too distant future. Probably carry on with this just to get a bit better handle of it, and then I want to have a real proper thought through stab at it. Of course, as the mighty Yuan Shao, because I just freaking love the guy. I've loved him ever since Dynasty Warriors 2, when I... Well, you know, I could talk on forever about how much I loved Yuan Shao and why. But perhaps for another day, because I'm going to take the stream down for just a short bit. We're talking 5-10 minutes here. And then we'll be back with the smash hit comedy Into the Airlock, where Captain Nitro tries to win his sword back. So see you then.